Hey everyone, happy Tuesday, welcome. Today we are going to go through some friend mail. Um, subscriber named Wendy went ahead and sent two additional bags over. So thank you so much, Wendy, I appreciate it. I have been looking at these bags for about a week now and I cannot wait to dig in and see what she sent. So thank you so much again, Wendy. And also um, we're gonna go through, once we get through these bags, we're gonna go through um, some more of the Shop Goodwill lots. So first I want to welcome in all of the new subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button. I'm glad that you found the channel and I appreciate you being here so much. So uh, my name is Brooke and uh, welcome to Florida Treasure Jewels. This channel is dedicated to jewelry unboxings and thrifting and special finds and things like that. We do live sales, all sorts of things. Everything that you see will be for sale. I will leave my email here on the screen. Also, you can find um, all the information down in the description of the video. There is a new customer registration form. If you have never ordered from me before, please fill out that form. So I have all of your information. And if you see something that you like, you can send me an email and I can get the goodies on the way to you. So I do leave prices on the screen in this area. So we will go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and check out these bags. So here is bag number one. Looks like we got some brooches in here, maybe. Super excited to see this little rhinestone bracelet right there. And we have some other goodies in this bag. So let's go ahead and straighten up and dive in. Okay, we're just going to start pulling some pieces out here. Let's get this. Alright, so first up, it looks like we have some earrings here. These are really pretty, so you have the tri-metal or multi-tone metal. You got some little animals. Look at the cute little turtle right there. So these are for pierced ears. Super cute. Love those. Got a cute little brooch here. Beautiful rhinestones. Love that blue color. Got a little pendant with a piece and a bird. Looks like we have one of those uh, necklaces that has the uh, natural materials, so wood carvings. You got the little giraffe, you got a zebra. Really pretty necklace here. Okay. Now we have, I believe this is a tie bar, a man's jewelry item. It does say swank. We have seen um, several items in the past from that company. We do have some these have a little bit of weight to them. I think these are glass. They kind of sound like glass pearls. They have the uh, little fish hook closure here. Very pretty luster. Look like they're in good shape, hand knotted. It's a pretty necklace. Got another watch. This is fossil. And look at all the little dangles hanging off of it. Very pretty watch. It's got like a mother of pearl face on it. 
love that. Oh, well, we got this cute little ring. So it is one of those adjustable stretch rings. It's got some glass facet cut crystals. And you already know what I forgot. The ring mandrel, of course. So let's see. It's, I would say it's about a six and a half without stretching it out. It's a cute little ring. All right, where, we have a clasp on this one? No. Okay. So this one does not have a clasp. It looks like it's an over the head. You got these really pretty enamel flowers. I don't see any uh, maker marks on this one. Matt faux pearls with these pretty enamel flowers. It's a nice, pretty necklace. Looks like we have some, some men's items here. These do have uh, nice little chunks of tiger's eye. I think these are cufflinks. I'm gonna have to start looking into the men's items a little bit more because I do have a lot of things. I just don't know much about men's items. Here's another tie bar, I believe. It does say swank under there. And there's some more. All right, so this necklace looks like it has some glass beads. They are knotted. Have some of the lava beads in there as well. Here is a little dream catcher pendant. So this is an over-the-head necklace. There is no uh, closure on that one. Got an Indiana State pin. You know the. Uh, Brooches always catch my eye. There we go. I had a cute little riveted back. Riveted back orange flower with rhinestones. Looks like this one kind of moves in the center here. Hopefully it's not broken. Now it just looks like it needed to be tightened down. So it's pretty. And a big clip earring here that is pretty large and it does have some weight to it. I imagine that would not be comfortable on the ear. All right, this one is by Premier Design. So there is the Premier Design tag with the PD. This one is really pretty with the blues. So you got all these little dangles right here. Blue acrylic. It's that antiqued silver look to it as well. And a pretty black and white rhinestone bracelet. 
love that uh, checkered print. It's super pretty. The inside looks good too. I think all the rhinestones are there. Yep. Another stretch bracelet here. This one's pretty as well. Got some movement to it. Another tie bar. Another men's item. It's a pretty pendant. I like the uh, the rhinestones on that. Very sparkly. This is an initial necklace. for an L. Kind of has like a rose gold color to it. Got a little snowman here. He's cute. No maker marks, but looks like looks like all the rhinestones are there. Got a little resin shark tooth with glitter necklace here. Probably like a souvenir necklace. This one is faux pearl. They feel like acrylic. It's a pretty necklace, nice and uh, dainty. And Okay, this one, this one has a little key on it, a little key charm, and it says M925 Sterling. So I don't think the chain is sterling, I just think that it would be the charm. Another tie bar. Got some, got lots of little men's items here. Got a cross necklace or a pendant. That probably goes with those cufflinks over there. Got some other items here. Lots of men's items. That one looks like it's missing the, the pin. That says LCD. So I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure who, what, who, um, whose mark that is. 
And then this necklace is by Nine West. So it's silver tone and you have all of these acrylic pieces. It does have some wear, probably just needs to be cleaned. And then we have these earrings right here. And a piece of broken chain. All right, let's go ahead and dump out bag number two. I see I've got another pin that kind of looks like the other one. White flowers on that one. Got some glass beads here. You know we love our glass. It's a really pretty green. This is all glass. Gorgeous necklace. Got some bangles. This one is marked Monet. This one is not marked. We've got some earrings. So we have the Tree of Life earring pair. Oh, we got a Swarovski. Yeah, we got a Swarovski necklace here. So I don't know if it's just a chain or if it had a pendant on it, but here is part of the extender. So you do have the Swarovski Swan mark. It's a silver tone chain. That's pretty. If you already have a Swarovski pendant, then that'll be perfect. Here's a pair of faux pearl acrylic earrings. We have a little group of hoop, gold tone hoop earrings. and some acrylic hoop earrings. This is stamped 925A, little mother of pearl pendant. Super pretty. From a nickel to the bell snickel. Little Santa pin here. Got this pretty brooch. No maker mark on it. We got faux pearls. It's in really nice shape. We got a little bow ring here with rhinestones, gold tone. This one is about a six and a half. We have another gold tone brooch, kind of like a wreath pin. This one, let's see, I think that might be Silpata. It kind of looks like the Silpata mark. So I'll have to look it up and say, oh, there it is. It says Silpata right there. Okay, so we got a Silpata necklace. That's an amazing find. Looks like we got some mother of pearl and some stone and some glass. So that's pretty cool. More than likely, this is gonna be sterling. All right. So that's a great find. We have another little watch here. It 
There is the brand name. I do not know how to say that. I'm not even, I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. I'm gonna have to look that one up. And I apologize for my voice. I'm still getting over whatever illness we had here. So these, I'm not sure what what these would be if they're like button buttons that are pinned on to this strand. They kind of look like mother of pearl. So I'll have to look that up. And another clip. I don't know if these are earrings or shoe clips because they're quite heavy to be earrings. And another clip here. That does have a, uh, a name on it, but I, is that K-T-E-N? If I find out anything, I'll put it on the screen. That's an interesting earring right there. A little knot earring. Got this teeny tiny little pin here. All right, this is a nice chunky necklace here. It looks like it's a little, it's a little, it's broken on this side. So this will have to be sold for parts, but this is a Napier necklace. It is marked Napier there and on the back of the clasp. So this will have to go into craft, but that's a really nice necklace. I haven't seen anything like that before. This says Emmons, E-M-M-O-N-S. A nice little clip earring here. Hopefully they find the match. A little bird pin. Cute little cloisonne butterfly. It's marked Korea on the back. Stick pin. And a little art glass earring. And this one says sterling. And it has the uh, the C A with the arrow. I think that's Carl, Carl Art. I think, I know we've seen it before, and I should know, because I've had a couple of pieces by that designer. So that's a pretty brooch. Oh, we found the other earring. No, this one's different. Oh, maybe that one's missing. Yeah, it's missing. Here it is. So that piece broke off of it. But technically, you could just take this one off. Yeah, I'll have to look in. I'll have to look into those. Let's see what those are about. Okay, up next we have this nice statement necklace here. So this is glass. Got some glass pieces down here. Nice little enamel with rhinestones. And this is by Chico's. There is the tag right there. Let's 
a nice artistic necklace. Got a gold tone collar necklace here. This one says Trafari. We love, we love our Trafari over here. So here it is, nice little collar necklace. Beautiful. Looks like it's got a little bit of wear to the back, but nothing major. Got a clip earring here. This is stamped 925 on the inside, so again, you have that uh, tri-tone metal. So you get the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. Cute little ring here. This one I would say is like a seven and three quarter, seven and a half, seven and three quarter. It's a cute ring. Got a little mouse pin here. He's made out of uh, some sort of seed, I believe. Here is a rhinestone necklace. Probably like collar length. Let's see. Looks like all the rhinestones are there, so that's good. And a pretty gunmetal and red rhinestone earring. seed bead necklace out. Here is the other art glass earring. It's nice. Gonna match to that. Got this little Santa Claus carved. I think it's just acrylic. I don't think it's wood. Carved Santa Claus necklace. And an Aeropostale bracelet here. Very pretty. With the rhinestones and the acrylic flowers. And this one is like a seven and a half. So this necklace, seed bead necklace, has this mark and it does say India on the back. So you have these really pretty peach and coral color seed beads, multiple strands. It's a nice uh, bead weaving up here. Lovely, gorgeous necklace. Got another tie bar here. That one says sterling. I think that's a little piece of malachite in there. We got the match. Okay, so all of these have a match now. So I'm not sure if they're shoe clips, because I think they're a little heavy to be earrings. Oh look, we got a big old chunk of goldstone. 
I love gold stone. It is man-made. It's not a natural stone, but it's just glitter in a rock form, and it's perfect. It's beautiful. And another pin here, some seed beads, some metallic paint. So this one's interesting. I like this. Got a LC Liz Claiborne pineapple pin. Got gold tone and silver tone. This is by J. Crew. Got a little single strand rhinestone bracelet here. It looks like all the rhinestones are there. And there is your J. Crew tag. Love that. I do get, I have quite a few of these necklaces and I'm not sure, I think all of these are acrylic, but it does say Korea on it. And here are the little stationed acrylic pieces, so it's blue and white. Silver tone. Here is a Premier Design silver tone bracelet. Looks like you got little flower petals. And this one is like a seven and a quarter. Yeah, another bracelet here. This one's like a charm. That says AE, which I believe is American Eagle. That one's a seven and a quarter. It just has a bunch of little heart charms all over it. And we got another heart bracelet. This one's like a six and three quarter. And you got gold tone, kind of like little puffy heart cut out. We have the other earring to that uh, Emons, Emons, Edmonds. Here is the other red dangle earring. And we got these. These say PAJ. 925. And I think the uh, posts are stamped 925 China. Those are pretty. And we got the other one of the little knots. And we got the initial, I think it's an initial pin. And it just has a patent number on there. And then this little guy, which is like a, a faux piercing earring. Okay, so that's everything from Wendy. Thank you so much, Wendy. There's some 
amazing pieces in that lot and I appreciate it so much. I'm going to go ahead and grab a handful of stuff out of the Shop Goodwill box and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back and here is the handful of items that we're going to go through from the Shop Goodwill box. Um, this, this is on top so I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, but here are some of the things that we have for today. So we got some really pretty pendants. Looks like we got some bracelets. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Kind of push that up there. So first we'll just go ahead and open up the Alex and Ani and let's see what we have. So this one is Truth, Creation, Oneness, 2016. I don't know what symbol that is right off the top of my head. If it's like a zodiac symbol, I'm not sure. But that is a nice find. So that's good. Maybe that's, this is the reason why I was looking at the box. Alright, so we have a, it says Boutique Collection. Looks like it's a Christmas bracelet. Still in the packaging, so I'm not going to take it out. Try to push this back in there. There we go. So gold tone, looks like it has a fold over clasp, looks oh, pretty. Alright, we have a stretch bracelet here, looks like we have a playing card, ace of spade, we got black glass, rhinestone, or facet cut crystals. Oh, I still got some pieces over there that I forgot. Uh, let's see, we got a Chico's piece here. Okay, so this just looks like a long chain that has a tassel on one end and a lobster claw clasp on the other. Very lightweight. Here is a pendant. Very sparkly. So we have a Chico's piece here that still has the tag on it. So it's marked Chico's. You have that brush gold tone look. It is double stranded. And then double strands. Then you come down here and you have all of these little pieces. So you got some acrylic. And then down here at the bottom, you have all of these little uh, words are escaping me right now. These little uh, tri or rectangle bits. You have this necklace right here. These are all cold to the touch, so these are probably stone or some sort of like semi-precious stone. Very pretty, whatever they are. We got a hinged bracelet here, black enamel, gold tone does need to be cleaned up a little bit, but the inside's in good shape. You have an over-the-head faux pearl necklace. And these are all acrylic. And 
is this is a pretty heavy glass faux pearl. They are knotted in between. And then it comes with these ribbon ties. Looks like this is broken, so we'll put that aside. It's a pretty earring. Oh, we found the other one to this one. I think this one was already claimed in the last video, so hopefully the person that claimed it sees this video and can pick that one up. Here is an over-the-head uh, link metal necklace silver tone. This is a red acrylic beaded necklace. You have all of these chunky red beads. Some of them have a crackle effect to them. I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to be or if it cracked just by being in the box with all the other things attached to it. You have a purple acrylic necklace. You have a white acrylic necklace. This one is a double strand and it definitely um, is gonna go into craft because it needs some work on it. We have this bracelet right here which is a wire bracelet. Okay, we let Miss Stormy come in and get her drink. So now we are back to looking at the jewelry. So this is a wire, one of those wire bracelets. You unhook it here. All the rhinestones are there. You do have silver tone and gold tone here. It's a cute one. This is a stretch bracelet. It's going to go into craft. It's got some wear to it. This is one of those, um, I believe all of these links uh, can be taken out and added and um, you basically customize it to your liking. But here are all of the links that are on this one. So the Girl Scout one is pretty neat. And you have a little doggy and a birthday cake. So that's pretty neat. You have a lime green over the head necklace here. That's all acrylic. You have this chunky necklace here. This chain is probably no good if you can see how worn it is but the pendant can come off and be reused again you've got a nice enamel right there and then the last bracelet we have is this one so you got this little black uh, acrylic backing you have all of these little rhinestones here gold tone i don't see any markings on it at all Okay, and then I did forget some items over here from Miss Wendy. So here are, here is a cameo pendant. This one looks like it's just got some glue or something on it that needs to come off. And then check this out. So you know me and my abalone, look how pretty that is. I love the white background abalone pieces. I love it. Beautiful. So it could be a pendant or a brooch. And it says Alpaca, Mexico on it. Beautiful. Here is the match to this clip earring. And then look at this cloisonne. 
there's the maker mark on the back of it. It's kind of like a little snake. Um, I know I've seen it and I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Here is a dainty black and red acrylic necklace. It does not have a maker mark on it. This one is by Banana Republic. So there is the Banana Republic tag and it is a double strand it look like, well, yeah, double strand, and then you have these little fun dangles on the longer strand. So that one looks like it's in good shape. Here is another acrylic necklace. You have black acrylic with a little wide drop pendant right here on a gunmetal chain. And last, but certainly not least, we have just says China with the little dot right there. And here is a gunmetal. This is a long double strand gunmetal. And you have these little discs with the little balls all the way down. All right, so that is, that is everything from Wendy and Shop Goodwill. Well, for this part, there's still more in the box for Shop, Good, uh, Shop Goodwill. We'll do another part for that one. But um, I do appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Again, um, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. And I appreciate everybody watching this video. And hopefully, um, there's. tell me what your favorite piece was. Leave a comment. In the comment section, go ahead and like the video. Give me a thumbs up. If you like content like this, let me know. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Y'all have a wonderful Tuesday. And we will be live Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're doing an all earrings show. So I hope to see you there. Bye.